in this video you will understand a high level conceptual understanding of how an oracle database is used on a computer just like using any other software we need to install it and then create whatever we want in as much as if you want to create word documents you need to first install the microsoft office software and then create as many word documents you need for an oracle database we install the binaries or the software in a directory path such a directory path in the computer is referred to as the oracle home different softwares can be installed in different different home in the current context of the discussion we are looking at a database home where the database software is installed similarly you could have grid infrastructure software that is installed in its own home the location or the directory in which you have installed the binaries is called as the home for that particular product and in one computer even for the database software you could have multiple homes available the typical use case is where you want to run different different versions of oracle's database in the same computer you install the binaries first each in their respective home which could be a different directory within the same computer and then you go and create databases when you create a database you create it by pointing it to a particular home and accordingly such databases are of that version and you can have multiple databases pointing to the same home within the same computer this is standard practice that is done now as you can see here the home is a storage component because it is installed on the storage databases are also storage related components because as you might have seen in the previous playlist database is a collection of files like data files control files read log files etc thus database is kept in storage as such it is just a collection of files it is possible that the storage you use is local to the computer or you use network storage with high speed connectivity to ensure performance and availability are taken care storage servers would come with some kind of volume management so that disk failures can be tolerated and to ensure speed of access to the computer where the database is going to be accessed from you might have high speed connectivity like fiber channels infini band or rocky networking etc when we need to use the storage in a computer we need to read it into memory that is where an instance comes into play an instance is made up of two primary components the sga and the memory the sga is the memory component and the processes are going to use the cpu to do whatever processing you need the sga has various components which i have explained in the traditional non cdb architecture playlist things like buffer cache shared pool shared pool made up of library cache dictionary cache etc are all within the sga whereas to read the data from the storage and bring it into the sga or to process the data and to write it back into the storage we have various processes that are available within the oracle database thus a computer's architecture is exactly what an oracle database uses this looks at a high level overview about how computers are used by the oracle database and now in the next video we will look at how this architecture had to be taken care when we do consolidation for oracle databases which is coming up in the next video